Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Firstly, congratulations. I can already see a big smile on your face. <laughs> I, been, I, I am fine. The thing is that you know I am working in a private college and mm -hmm. I am a PhD scholar. So the NAC team is visiting to my university. So now we all the scholars are stuck. You know, from nine to uh, you know nine. So oh. that's oh. how we're looking. So that's why. And I'm very happy to see you in person because during my master day, from my master day, I have been watching your videos. And so. That's, thank that's you so uh, very kind of you. Thank you so much. Uh, before we begin the interview, I have a list of questions that I wish to ask you, uh, which will really help students who are going to appear for uh, in the next attempt to know what was the preparation strategy and what they can do i would first like to know a little bit about you so if you could just uh, tell me a bit about uh, you which where are you from which uh, university have you done your graduation for graduation from yeah uh, i am rudra i am from odisha and i did my masters from pondicherry central university then i enrolled in mphil in uh, ravensa university which is in odisha and mm -hmm. there i continued uh, with my phd also now i am a phd scholar in ravensa university and uh, about me i like to write i have written five books oh and, wow yes That's wonderful five, five books, books. Uh, five and books. what were the topics uh, mostly uh, three books are poems, a uh, collection of poems, and one book is a collection of short story. And recently I published a book which is non-fiction, which is about uh, Odia Dalit text. Uh, so from the beginning to till date, and my research is on that topic also. So I decided that you know I'm going to compile my MPhil thesis and I have to add something more. And I met with some authors, I took their interview and I compiled that thing in a book. So that was my wow. recent publishing. That is amazing. Like you've you've kind of uh, done the entire chronological study of yes. um, Dalit uh, writing in Odia. Huh? Dalit writing in Odia. That is that is really great. Very very appreciated because कहीं ना कहीं मुझे यही लगता है कि हम इंग्लिश एज ए लैंग्वेज को शायद इतना ज्यादा ऊपर मानने लग गए हैं एक इतने बड़े पेडस्टल पे रख दिया है कि जो रीजनल लैंग्वेजेस है जिनकी अपनी ब्यूटी है जिनमें एक बहुत खूबसूरत बहुत सारे खूबसूरत टेक्स्ट लिखे गए हैं उसको हमने साइडलाइन कर दिया है सो आई थिंक या वट यू आर डूइंग विल हेल्प उरिया लिटरेचर टू टेक अग्राउंड Exactly, because uh, when you look at the mainstream English literature, most of the question uh, in net also and in most of the central university also, they are coming from British literature. And right. if you look at Indian literature also, there is mainstream Indian literature. And apart from mainstream Indian literature, there is you know abundance of literature which is written regionally, and mm -hmm. we are not talking about those things. So when I started reading the Odia text, my guide from Pondicherry University he suggested, uh, do not go for the mainstream text. Start reading Odia text. So when I started reading Odia text, I got to realize that you know uh, we are talking about Marx, we are talking about Angel, we, we are talking about you know French Fanon. But when I started reading this text, I could relate. He just because it is written in regional language, the reach is not that much. Mm -hmm. So that's when I decided that you know, if I'm going to do something in PhD, then I have to go to my own state, my own uh, language, and I have to do something. Wow, wonderful! Very, very appreciated because um, we we need people like you who uh, are so passionate about their own language that they. They can actually put that literature, uh, the works of that literature, uh, in in the PhD canon, so yeah. that all the other students they can also find out that okay, what is happening in Uriya literature? Uh, wonderful. So, um, the first thing that I really want to ask you is when did you start preparing for NET? And uh, this January. In. In this January, twenty twenty four. When exactly. I okay. Okay, so it's been about six months of preparation yeah. uh, that you did, and uh, how how did you take that first step? Like, what what did you do first when you decided to net karna hai? Uh, the thing is that uh, I was not preparing for net. I was reading to you know publish another book. I was reading psychology, history. I was reading political science. I was reading American literature. I was reading post truth literature, but I was missing out the mainstream. Uh, English literature, the syllabus. What happened? I wrote an exam, the Odisha Senior Lectureship exam. Uh, it was my first job 
exam because I was not eligible enough last year because I was not old enough. So when I reached the age of 24, I got to write that exam. So when I sat down to write that exam, I realized that I have been reading so many things, but I do not have the basic idea about English literature. Uh, and, and throughout my MPhil and PhD, the whole focus was on Dalit literature. Maharashtra, Odisha, right. Tamil Nadu. So then I realized when the, the selection list came, I was not even selected, uh, you know, I was not uh, within 500, you know, rank 500, I was not Ooh. there. So then I got a reality check. So I talked with my friends who used to, uh, you know, read for net and they also took Arpita Karwa subscription. They are from Kerala. They suggested just go for that. Just go for that. Take a subscription of one year and you will see the difference. So I was, uh, you know, uh, to be honest, I was very skeptical in the beginning uh, because I, I did not know. I did not know the course pattern. I just saw some YouTube videos and all. So they said, you know, just just take the course and uh, you will thank us later. My friend told me. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I took the course. And at that point of time, I guess uh, I took a one year subscription because I was thinking I'm not prepared at all. So maybe it will take two attempts. This is my mm -hmm. first attempt in NET. I did not write NET before. Wow, so, that is that is wonderful. That in the first attempt itself, you've cleared it. So during my master's also, I did not write. I don't know why, but I, I, I did not write. So this was my first attempt and I started preparing. And when I took the course, uh, then I realized that the YouTube video that I saw, your videos in YouTube, uh, those, uh, those videos have information, but this course has, you know, almost everything. And as I wrote in my feedback, when I, the, the result has declared the first text, I texted you to the WhatsApp number. Yes, yes, so I, I did that. So I, I, dis, I, I um, you know, I realized it's like a simple story. You know, everything I was uh, listening, everything I was watching in the video lectures, it was like a story. So if I am watching something today, and the first step what I did, I wrote down everything. The whole syllabus I wrote down. It took around 15 notes book, thick notebook. I wrote it down everything. And after seven days, eight days, what happened before when I was uh, reading something, after eight, ten days, I used to forget everything that I read. But after, <laughs> after the video lectures and audio lectures together, because what I used to do, uh, uh, you know, today, uh, if I'm going for, you know, British literature or Carolyn age, uh, I used to watch the video lecture first and then I went for audio lecture because in the audio lecture, I think it is more detailed because the previous question paper has been discussed. This so after right. doing this thing, after 15 days, when I'll be thinking what was uh, taught in that class, I'll be remembering that thing. So that was the first time I experienced this kind of things because previously I used to read you know, a book of 500 pages and after one month, I'll forget everything. I'll just remember the plot line. Right, right. So the first thing I did with the course, I wrote down everything, the whole syllabus. And talking about the syllabus, I never knew net syllabus could be this much simpler. Because whenever I read the previous question paper, I was like, ye kaan saaya? Ye kaan saaya? Ye kaan saaya? So when I saw the detailed syllabus in the course, I was like, you know, it was a great help. When you when I saw the syllabus, I had an idea ki mujhe kya padna hai, kya nahi padna hai. The syllabus is very good. So that was my first And in my, I think Yehi Subse Bada ek Matlab ek student ke liye jo first step hota hai, wo yehi hota hai ki usko agar pata chal jai ki boundary kya hai, kiske andar se question aare. Because Jesse Ma Misha Ketu ki English literature ka syllabus itna vast ki everything that is written or translated in English is the part of the Syllabus. Exactly, huh? whatever so, it is written in English. How huh? do we know ki kaun se writer ko kitna padna hai? So, uh, you, you started uh, listening to the video lectures. Achha, ek cheez jo se kaafi students uh, ki itne sare stories uh, padna hota hai, itne sare text hai, uh, ek ek uh, writer ne itni sari novels likhi hai so un sare novels ke plot vagere kaise yaad rahe characters kaise yaad rahe ha uh, jaisa maine bola uh, see i used to read a lot you know uh, till 2023 december i completed 233 35 books 2023 end tak uske baad my whole focus was on your website i did not even go for a book maine hard copy ek bhi nahi dekha so उस टाइम पे जब मैं पढ़ता था जैसे आपने बोला कि कैरेक्टर बहुत ज्यादा होते हैं अंडरस्टैंड इंग्लिश लिटरेचर चार्ल्स डिकन का इतना अपना मोटा-मोटा किताब तो कैरेक्टर याद नहीं रहता 
but i'll i'll suggest the student who see i was also going through the same problem i could not remember all the character all the text but the thing is that you know the the videos are not that long it's an audio lectures are 10 15 minutes video lectures are shorter with all the description so as i told you in the beginning that you know uh, i saw the video lecture i saw the audio lecture and after 15 day one month when i thought about the thing every character was imprinted in my mind so So how will i explain to the student that you know i just suggest them that you know just go for that uh, like my friend suggested ki you will thank me later i am pretty much sure that i can remember everything and another uh, thing that you know in net exam you will have four options it is mcq you will have four option if you do not remember everything if you do not remember the whole text when you see the four option everything will come to your mind because the video lecture is like that only the mind maps the characters the cartoons very interesting yeah right right so that the is reason the reason i have put those cartoons yeah. and those uh, characters is that ki aapko wo yaad rakhne mein aasani ho ki wo character aapne dekh liya to uska dressing se aap kafi cheeze relate kar sake exactly right. and uh, we are visual learners i think i am a visual learner personally because whatever i read how much i read uh, you know after some days i am going to forget if i watch something for example a movie if you ask me about a movie i'll remember that thing so your lecture your audio lecture was like that only i was like you know i was i was watching a story and uh, that is the thing and right, uh, right. and i like the audio lecture more because uh, end of the lecture i will have the previous year question also right, so first right. part you did uh, and there is a uh, question set also 84 uh, mock test previous year question paper everything is there so once right. you uh, what i did i i went for a mock test so there are 75 question so in the first trial i did not score well and when i came back to revise the whole thing whenever i went to the question whenever i went to the audio lecture wo audio lecture mein aapne wo wala question ke bare mein mention kiya to abhi main wo kabhi nahi bhulunga so that was the thing kyunki maine us time pe galat kiya tha aur abhi wo question ke bare mein we discussing in the audio lecture and video lecture so i remember ki maine wo wala exam mein kharab kiya tha to jab main dusri baar dena aata hu retake dene ke liye my accuracy is 92% 93% like that wonderful so, wonderful I think ये भी ये ये एक बहुत अच्छा मैसेज है सारे स्टूडेंट्स के लिए कि रेगुलरली मॉक टेस्ट से हम अपनी प्रेपरेशन को एनालाइज करते रहें बिकॉज आप पढ़ते ही जाएंगे एंड यू डू नॉट नो हाउ मच यूर रिमेम्बरिंग सो देन वॉट इज देंस ऑफ रीडिंग सो मच एग्जैक्टली सो थ्रू आउट द प्रिपरेशन वॉट लाइक हाउ मच टाइम डिड यू डिवोट वॉट वॉज योर स्टडी स्केड्यूल लाइक no uh, see uh, the thing is that when i decided that on you know, every day i am going to study for 6 hours i i decide, i i thought that because i am a phd scholar and as a phd mm. scholar i have departmental work i have my research work and i have seminars i have to host seminars so uh, in the beginning i thought that you know i am going to dedicate 6 hours per day but practically it was not possible uh, most of the time i could give 6 hours but uh, average 5 hour 5 and half hour and something yeah uh, that's okay the things are very simple ha huh. initially when i was preparing for my phd entrance and cvt entrance i was just going through history of english literature all the books youtube videos mm. at that point of time i i did not have a phd degree i did not have a job so i used to give 10 12 hours but the productivity that i got through this last 6 month it is more because i, I was only giving 5 6 hours but i could remember more things so that helped me a lot right right and uh, how did you divide your time between paper 1 paper 2 when when did you start with paper 1 uh, initially i used to give saturday and sunday to paper 1 initially okay. uh, in january february march april and after that uh, a notification released from odisha government that the assistant professor for english and senior lecturer for english the examination are going to be held in november and december so okay. yes and uh, in the coming month so i decided i am going to you know skip paper 1 i am not going to give two days because whether i qualify net or not if i focus on paper 2 i am obviously going to qualify to job exams and the salary is more so right. <laughs> i am going to you know skip paper 1 i was not fully skipping paper 1 but mm. most of the time i was giving to paper 2 and the syllabus that you are covering the odisha senior lecture syllabus is 25% of the syllabus it's very short oh, that's so that's very short i will be able to cover your syllabus and revise three four times then it will be more than enough for net also and for that exam also for that exam so that exam is going to happen to be in the month of november november and december i have two exam one assistant professor one senior lecturer 
ओके ओके बोथ द एग्जाम्स आर इन टू मंथ्स ओके एंड पेपर वन में फिर क्या पढ़ के डिड यू गो लाइक डिड यू लीव लीव इट ऑल टुगेदर और डिड यू स्टार्ट आई डिड नॉट लीव इट ऑल टुगेदर बिकॉज़ द पेपर वन सिलेबस इज आल्सो डिटेल्ड एंड इट इज डिवाइडेड इन प्रॉपर कैटेगरी आई वेंट टू प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन पेपर एंड आई सॉ कि किस-किस जगह से ज्यादा ज्यादा आता है आई वेंट फॉर दैट लेक्चर्स एंड इन पेपर वन लेक्चर आल्सो इट इज वेरी क्लियरली यू नो i am not good at mathematics or reasoning but uh, after uh, going through the audio lectures uh, after going through the video lectures of uh, paper 1 uh, i could have some kind of sense that you know i can face and i scored 165 marks this time paper 1 paper 2 mark is not divided plus right. so i think most of the marks comes from paper 2 so right. uh, paper 2 was good and i have a question that you know i never check the answer key <laughs> i only check the answer key once in the last exam i could not qualify <laughs> so oh. i never you, you, you must have attempted the june exam as well the omr one no, no this is my first attempt august wala august wala you did not attempt the june exam कुछ नहीं किया था लास्ट टाइम मैंने बस एक गेट दिया था गेट भी फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट में क्लियर हो गया था गेट क्वेश्चन इज कंपैरेटिवली इजी तो इस बार का इस बार ही जो जून में जिसका री एग्जाम अगस्त में हुआ अब वो वाला क्या दैट दैट क्वेश्चन वाज वेरी इजी हां दैट दैट वाज वेरी वेरी इजी या आई कुड नॉट इवन ग्लू की मतलब ये नेट में आएगा तो फिर मेरे को लगा कट ऑफ इतना ज्यादा जाएगा फिर अगस्त वाले में इट वाज गुड it was good right right uh, also tell me a little bit about uh, your revision strategy kis tarike se revise kiya uh, uh, as i told you first thing what i did i wrote down everything the whole syllabus i wrote down uh, and it took me you know two months uh, two and a half months but i wrote down all the syllabus and when uh, the odisha exam got declared the notification got declared then i started focusing on that syllabus so in that that syllabus they do not have the detailed syllabus like in it uh, like in literary criticism they only focus on marxism feminism and uh, you know new criticism those things so first revision i did a detailed revision on uh, according to net syllabus and the second revision i started focusing on the odisha syllabus and i started revising how did i revise uh, i wrote down and i had all my notes with me and all the notes were categorized note one mein ye cheeze note two mein ye cheeze so i used to do the same thing the audio lecture video lecture but this time i watched the audio video in 1.75 speed okay initially it was 1.25 or 1.5 1.75 mein taki mujhe bahut sara cheez yaad reh gaya tha i just needed to brush up the thing to aise karke maine fir se complete kiya usko fir thoda zyada time dena padta tha fir usko complete kiya aur इन वन ऑफ योर यूट्यूब वीडियो यू टोल्ड कि वो इंसान जो पांच बार रिवाइज किया होगा थोड़े से चीज को ही इज गोइंग टू शी इज गोइंग टू डू बेटर और वो पूरा पूछे क्योंकि मैं चार बार रिवाइज करके नेट एग्जाम में गया था और जो जो क्वेश्चन मुझे नहीं भी आया आई कुड रिमेम्बर कि ये उस वाले पार्ट में आया ये हमारे उस वाले नोट में है और ये उस वाले ऑडियो लेक्चर में कवर हुआ है बस मुझे याद नहीं आ रहा सो दैट हेल्प मी अलॉट सो आई डिड एक्टली द सेम थिंग ऑडियो लेक्चर वीडियो लेक्चर एंड माई नोट बट द स्पीड वॉज मोर वन पॉइंट like that right right that is great and also one thing that you mentioned ki ye cheez pe matlab dikhe as a teacher it is my duty to uh, tell all the students ki revision ka importance kya hai and four five times you revise karke ja raha hai wo definitely zyada marks secure karega from a person who is reading a lot more but not revising uh, but it is uh, a credible thing on your part it is something that uh, for which i should appreciate you a lot that you believed in what i said and you went through four proper revisions because that is what is going to help you consolidate the information in your brain nahi to otherwise sab mix ho jayega and exam ke din kuch bhi yaad nahi rahega kuch yaad nahi rahega and i did not uh, you know initially i was like you know maine itna padha hai i have completed 200 books 235 books so i took things uh, as granted and when i failed in one exam uh, and i cleared my cvt exam i was all india rank 4 then after that phd mphil every entrance exam that i gave i qualified in the first attempt so the odisha lectures was the first uh, exam jo mera nahi hua tha and i did not revise so then i saw your video before that also uh, and i did not revise ki ha itna sara clear kiya ye bhi kar lenge kya so the, when i could not uh, qualify then i remembered about that video i saw your videos and they thought you i have to revise this time and uh, i now i am thanking myself ki i did revise 
बिकॉज विदाउट विदाउट रिवाइजिंग यू नो जितना तुम्हें लगा लगे कि ये सब आता है करके वंस द क्वेश्चन कम्स यू विल बी कंफ्यूज टू ऑप्शन ए की सी की सी की डी तो वो हमेशा तो है वो था इजी था कि हम कुछ भी लिख के आ जाए इतना पता नहीं चलता है आपने मोटा मोटा चीजें कवर कर लिया तो चलता है एमसीक्यू में यू हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी स्पेसिफिक कि वो दो इतने क्लोजली रिलेटेड ऑप्शंस होंगे कि अगर रिविजन नहीं है तो आप गलत को टिक करके आ जाएंगे मतलब ड्राइडन होगा मैथ्यू आर्नोल्ड होगा उसके बाद अलेक्जेंडर पोप होगा और सबने किसी के बारे में कुछ ना कुछ बोला है बोला तो एक, एक सेंटेंस आएगा कि किसने बोला तो फिर दिमाग खराब हो जाएगा इट्स ओनली रिक्वायर रिवीजन उसके बाद ही तुम क्लैरिफाई हो जाएगा जैसे यू नो विलियम ब्लेक सेड टू यू नो मिल्टन वॉज फ्रॉम डेविल्स पार्टी विदाउट नोइंग इट तो उसमें आर्नल्ड आता है उसमें ड्राइडन आता है उसमें पोप आता है तो सब लोग वैसे किसी ना किसी को क्रिटिसाइज कर रहे होते हैं विलियम ब्लेक आई रिमेम्बर विलियम ब्लेक एज ए राइटर सॉन्ग ऑफ इनोसेंट सॉन्ग ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस पर उसके बाद ये कोटेशन उसने दिया होगा मुझे नहीं सोचा था मैंने लास्ट एग्जाम में वो गलत किया था थोड़ी सा एग्जाम में बट दिस टाइम जितना भी मैंने प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन किया वो सब लकीली सब ठीक था सही था वेरी नाइस वेरी नाइस आल्सो टेल मी कि कोई और बुक्स वगैरह कुछ रेफर करना पड़ा कि नहीं आई टेक्स्टेड द व्हाट्सएप नंबर कि डू आई नीड टू रीड मोर डू आई नीड टू यू नो गो फॉर मोर बुक्स The the thing is that I did not need the requirement to go because whatever text I require, it was there. Shakespeare quotation, it was there. The whole every you know if you go through Shakespeare, Shakespeare I don't think net में इतना ज़्यादा Shakespeare पूछा जाता है. But in state exam, Shakespeare is the you know crown prince. वो हर जगह पूछता है. तो इतना details में था. तो मेरे को I have the book of Shakespeare. पर मेरे को उस पर जाने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ी बिकॉज द टीचिंग मेथड द ऑडियो लेक्चर वीडियो लेक्चर इट वॉज स्पेसिफिकली प्रिपेयर फॉर एमसीक्यू टाइप एंड नेट एग्जाम ओके सो लास्ट बट नॉट द लीस्ट वन थिंग दैट आई वुड रियली वांट टू आस्क इज एग्जाम टाइम में टाइम मैनेजमेंट कैसे किया वो थ्री आवर्स में क्या स्ट्रेटेजी था Uh, exam. The thing is that uh, first what I did, uh, I skipped the whole paper one part. I went to paper two directly, and uh, I started reading all the question. Uh, and luckily, what I uh, thought that you know every question that I read, I had some idea about that thing, whether I know the answer or not. But मेरे को उसके बारे में थोड़ा idea था. तो मैं जितना sure था, the, all the question that was hundred percent sure कि answer होने वाला, I clicked on those things. और उसके बाद क्या हुआ? फिर मैंने जब वापस आया देखने के लिए कि जो जो doubt था. इसीलिए मैं सजेस्ट करूंगा क्यों रिवाइज करना चाहिए कुछ क्वेश्चन में ऐसा हुआ था कि इन द फर्स्ट रीडिंग आई वाज नॉट एबल टू गेट द आंसर आई नो दिस इज फ्रॉम दिस टेक्स दिस राइटर आई वाज नॉट एबल टू गेट द आंसर व्हेन आई केम बैक अगेन टू द क्वेश्चन तो वहां पे देन आई स्टार्टेड थिंकिंग देन आई स्टार्टेड रिमेम्बरिंग वो वाला कार्टून का पिक्चर था वो वाला इट वॉज अबाउट लॉर्ड ऑफ बिकॉर्स ऑफ द लाइफ तो वो वाला कार्टून का पिक्चर था तो एक आइडिया आ गया कि चार चार जो एमसीक्यू था उसमें से दो माइनस हो गया कि ये नहीं हो सकता तो आई हैड टू चूज बिटवीन दोज टू सो द टाइम मैनेजमेंट व्हाट आई डिड ड्यूरिंग द थ्री आवर्स आई रेड ऑल द क्वेश्चन जो मुझे आता था अराउंड यू नो आई कुड आंसर अराउंड फिफ्टी फिफ्टी फाइव मेरे को पता था कि सही होने वाला है उसमें कुछ गलत भी हो सकता है बट आई न्यू कि ये वाला सही आंसर है तो क्लिक डाउन दोज थिंग्स उसके बाद वेन आई केम बैक टू रिवाइज द क्वेश्चन तब मेरे रिविजन का काम आया जो भी मैं चार बार रिवाइज किया था तो कुछ कुछ करके ऑप्शन कट रहा था कि ये तो नहीं हो सकता वो तो नहीं हो सकता जैसे मेयर ऑफ कास्ट ऑफ से क्वेश्चन आया था थॉमस आडी से राइटर थे उनके डायलॉग थे उसको मैच करना था तो पहले ट्रायल में मेरे को वो नहीं आया था फिर देन आई स्टार्टेड थिंकिंग कि हाँ मेयर ऑफ कास्ट ऑफ था वहां पे वाइफ का ऐसे सीन था वो बार में आए थे सोच सोच के फिर तीन ऑप्शन जो था वो कट गया तो देन आई मैच दैट थिंग टू थॉमस आडी और ऑप्शन वैसे ही था उसके साथ मार्च करने से सब सी वाला ऑप्शन आ गया था सो दैट इज हाउ आई इट द थ्री आवर्स इट इज इंपोर्टेंट बट द थिंग इज दैट द थ्री मंथ्स दैट यू आर गोइंग टू गेट बिफोर द एग्जामिनेशन ट्राई टू आई थिंक आई विल सजेस्ट टू द स्टूडेंट हु आर गोइंग टू राइट नेट फॉर द फर्स्ट टाइम रिवाइज 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 एंड अगेन एब्सोल्युटली एब्सोल्युटली एंड वन थिंग मोर दैट आई वांटेड टू आस्क कि दो पेपर वन 
की जगह पेपर टू पे ज्यादा फोकस किया वहां से मार्क्स यू हैव टेकन बट पेपर वन में मेजरली क्या दिक्कत आ रही थी पेपर वन में आई थिंक टीचिंग मेथडोलॉजी रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी आई वाज ओके विद इट पर वो जो मैथमेटिक्स का पार्ट था और उसके बाद जो बॉक्स वगैरह आता था ऐसे नंबर्स वगैरह था आई कुड नॉट अंडरस्टैंड दो थिंग सो आई थिंक यू नो नेक्स्ट टाइम वन आई एम गोइंग टू अपियर एंड आई वॉज ऑल्सो टॉकिंग टू द व्हाट्सएप टीम दैट यू नो अंटिल अनलेस आई गेट ए जॉब आई एम गोइंग टू रिन्यू द सब्सक्रिप्शन अगेन एंड अगेन एंड अगेन and also i'm going to write the december net also for jrf but i think agar thoda paper one pe zyada focus karta to shay jrf ki taraf kya pata 97 aur exactly. december attempt ke liye i would really suggest that uh, you can get that book the paper one book ah, that i, I already have. ordered the book ha Achha, so you have already ordered so uske andar what i have done is ki jaise paper two ka syllabus pura systematic hai i have tried to do the very uh, same थिंग कि उसको भी एकदम सिस्टमैटिक और बहुत इजी लैंग्वेज में मैं दे दू ताकि समबडी लाइक यू हु इज नॉट सो नॉट सो मच इंटरेस्टेड इन नोइंग मोर अबाउट पेपर वन बिकॉज सब्जेक्ट पेपर से तो हम सबको प्यार होता है पेपर वन ऐसा होता है क्वालिफाइंग है मार्क्स लाने के लिए पढ़ना है तो उसको जितना इंटरेस्टिंग बना सके उतना हम बनाए एंड अभी एक बहुत अच्छी चीज रहेगी सिंस यू ऑलरेडी ऑर्डर द बुक सो वी हैव अबाउट थर्टी थ्री फोर्टी डेज फॉर the next december attempt ah. because december mid tak agar hota hai and the book is divided into 33 chapters so the ah. moment you get the book uh, start reading one chapter per day so 33 days mein jaise systematically you have covered paper 2 ka syllabus same one hmm. one chapter every day if you do and you will see that 33 days mein pura syllabus ho jayega yes i have ordered the book also and my sister is also going to write net she is from odia literature and okay. i asked her to order the book also because in during paper 2 i got to know that you know everything is simplified everything right. is simplified and uh, it was not complicated you know when i used to read charles dickens on my own it was complicated but yeah. when i saw the video lecture audio lecture and i went for that particular mock test of that age so it was not complicated at all That's so i also suggested that my entire purpose is that ki aapko as a student ko hard work karna hai but mujhe as a teacher mai kitna simplify karke aapko de du taki aapko padhne mein aasani ho that is the only point yeah thank you so much for the thing you know i i really enjoyed throughout the six month of course and i hope that you know i'll get the job next month and i'm also doing doing my best wishes are with you and all the best for jrf as well i really want yes. that somebody uh, who has read so much and who has even written uh, books on his own he should be the one who qualifies jrf <laughs> and another question that you know there is a nfsc scholarship also national scholarship for senior class student so last year the cutoff was 148 for pursuing student i am 165 this time so i am waiting for that result also because that scholarship is almost like jrf almost right. because you going to get a jrf certificate and all so i am waiting for that result from nfsc website and if i get that i'll i'll definitely inform you that absolutely i'll i'll love to know that and all yeah. the best for uh, your phd i'm sure that odia literature uh, me jo bhi aise khoobsurat cheeze hain jo ubhar ke aani chahiye through your thesis the world is going to know about all those beautiful things so great going and uh, wish you all the best thank you great great bye bye bye, bye. 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 bye.